today we will discuss date and timestamp built in functions how they work we'll see in practical okay so let's say first of all let me import the necessary libraries Now we will initialize the Spark session. Okay. Now we'll create data frame. Okay. Now let me take a uh, user ID and timestamp. Let's say twenty twenty three zero four zero one ten twelve zero one nineteen. Okay, now let us take the second one ID comma times twenty twenty three zero four. 25 let's say 13 0 2 and then 12 okay now let's say comma let me take the columns id comma input timestamp okay now let me try to display which we created see we have taken id and timestamp okay so now we will check how to extract hover from this timestamp hover minute and second okay okay df dot select call input okay let me copy paste this okay now come on hover off call now take something is wrong in copy paste now do this like this okay now dot alias let's say hover okay now dot show okay now we will see so we are extracting only the hard part from the input timestamp we'll see what result we will going to get it see it is successfully extracted the r 12 and 13 okay now we'll try to extract minute now let's take off this 
comma minute of column then the same put timestamp okay dot alias let's say minute okay dot show let's try to run it see now it's successfully extracted the minute one and two now let's see how are minutes second now we'll try to extract the second now we'll try to take input data file dot alias second dot show now we'll try to run whether it is successfully extracting second or not yeah it's successfully extracted right okay till now it is good now we see, we have seen how to extract the hour minute second from the timestamp okay column now we will see how to take the date from this input timestamp okay let's see how to do that come on so you know, how to extract the date from the timestamp we have two underscore date function okay now we'll take input timestamp okay dot alias let's say date okay now we'll show we'll run and see see it is successfully extracted 2023-41 in the second column 2023-425 so we have successfully extracted the hour separately minute separately second separately and the date even separately okay so this is how we will extract okay now we'll try to see date format there is another function built-in function called date format what exactly this date format will do for example right now we have year month and date right now i will try to take month date and year okay i will customize however i want my format okay format of call let's say input timestamp okay now just put comma now we'll try to okay maybe the second parameter we have to keep it okay now we'll try to say that is the second parameter month date year okay dot alias let's say date format okay now show now we'll see right now what i am trying to do i am trying to change the format of the date okay now we'll try to see under date format first month 04 should display we'll see see now month year see here date for one month date and year it is successfully displayed okay so this is the advantage of date format however we want the format we can able to fetch it and uh, it will take two arguments one is the input and the format which we are going to align it now now another function 
we will try to see the date difference okay i would like to see the difference between current date and uh, from the today's date date okay date diff okay there is one more built in function called date diff so we will try to see current current date okay now comma cough let's say date okay now let's say alias date diff okay then we'll show now we'll try to run and see okay now we can able to see current date to the present date okay so what we have seen here date is uh, april right may june see 61 days and 37 days so the difference it has given exactly the date difference okay now because if you can able to see here both uh, 25th year we have taken april 1 we have taken so it has given the date difference from current date to exit date admit date okay now we can able to see, we will see months between okay there is another built-in function called months and months and underscore months underscore between because i would like to fetch from the current date to the date which we have it what is the difference difference how many months difference i would like to see okay we'll try to see for this here the current date comma of date okay dot alias let's say once between okay dot show try to run and see see we have so current date means okay may uh, june first right so april see exactly two months okay here 1.22 so months between this is how we can declare this is how we can able to see okay now we can able to see another function called date add okay date underscore add call of date okay comma we'll try to see for example if i want to add four days okay now give an alias for this date underscore add okay dot show i am going to append four days for that date okay let's try to see and run what it is going to give see now four one right now april 1st right see april 5th it was added 25th to 29 okay we are going to display how many number of days that we are going to append here okay now now we see date subtraction date underscore sub of call of date okay come on let's say four dot alias date underscore sub okay dot show now we'll see you should minus four okay means four twenty one see 425 right 421 41 right 328 it was minus 
more days okay this is how date subtraction it will work now let's say we'll try to add another function called add months we'll try to add months for the existing okay add months of call of date okay how many months let's say we can add three okay comma three dot alias add underscore months okay dot show okay now let's run and see whether it is three months is going to add up or not what is the date april right may june july see seven one it was successfully added three months okay so now if i want to for example minus three months let's say how to handle that scenario take we will take the same function okay add months of of date we would like to subtract okay let's say minus three here we will specify the minus we will specify minus okay alias of sub underscore let's say months okay dot show okay now we'll try to see whether it is three months is left over or not see now 2023 one one see three months is minus okay 125 okay so this is how we can able to use the built-in functions guys so it's all about uh, like you know the declaration part it's mainly okay so that's all for today guys uh, if you really like this video Please do subscribe, like and share. Okay. Bye.